So a single leg hip bridge on the bench. It's gonna be a hip hinge movement. So a couple things I wanna make sure that we do before we even start. I wanna make sure that we're tucking the chin. I wanna make sure that we're keeping a neutral spine. And, and I wanna make sure that we're keeping a little bit of that tripod foot, right? So most of the weight's gonna be in that heel, but make sure we have a little bit of weight in underneath that big toe, underneath the pinky toe, right? Just so we have even weight distribution. So when we're getting set up, I wanna make sure the bottom of my shoulder blades are at the top of the bench right here. When we get up in this position right here, this is fully extended position, we wanna make sure our knees are at 90 degrees. So when we come up and down like this, when we get to the top, knees are 90 degrees, right? For the single leg variation, I'm gonna bring one leg up right here. Again, that knee or that leg that's in work, that knee is still 90 degrees. I'm tucking my chin. I'm making sure I have a neutral spine. As far as hand position or arm position, you can either have them out to the side, you can cross your arms, whatever feels best for you. I like to have them to my side so I feel a little bit under more under control. So again, tucking my chin, neutral spine, not bending the back at all, dropping that butt down, making sure I'm driving through the heel, a little bit of weight underneath the pinky toe and big toe, drive back up to that neutral position. Come down, tuck the chin, neutral spine, drive the, through the heel, squeeze that glute in, up until this neutral position that knee is at 90 degrees. Come down, drive the heel, right here. Down, 